Hello, and welcome to this Divi Builder tutorial brought to you by Adriel Partners. Our goal is to help you learn how to use your website and update things however you want. So today is a quick tip on how to change out a photo on the home page. So what we have here is the home page of this website. And uh, you can see here in the center is a nice photo. We're going to change that out. Now there's a couple ways to do that, but it all starts with logging in to your WordPress admin. Now, uh, you may notice that we're already logged in, but uh, what you'll typically see is this, uh, the screen with a username and email address. You'll enter that info, click log in, and that takes you here to your dashboard. On the left side of your dashboard, you have lots of options, but we want pages. So click on pages, and that takes you here. We're going to scroll down to the page that we called home. Now, one thing you'll notice, we titled the page home, but it also has this little note that it is the front page. This is something set somewhere else in your website. You typically won't change that, but uh, that's there just for you to know. Home is here, and we're going to click on Edit to take us to the editing window. Now, in Divi, which is the builder that we use to construct your site, there's different ways to interact with it. This is what we call the backend editor. You could also call this the wireframe editor. It's used interchangeably. You can see that we have different labeled boxes, uh, and each box has a little down arrow. That's just so you can open and close things and see more or less of them. So in this particular case, we're going to be editing the main header, and then it's labeled. Here's a header, here's text, here's image, uh, here's a row, here's an image. I happen to know what all these things are because I put it together, but you might not be as familiar. So instead, we're going to click this button at the top that says build on the front end. Once you click build on the front end, you'll see that little circle thing to let you know that it's loading. And now it's going to give us something that looks very similar to what we saw before. It's going to show us this wireframe view. And you might think, well, that's not very helpful. Well, you're right. So go down to the bottom of your screen where the purple circle is with the three dots. And once you click it, it'll open up some menu options. You can save your changes over on the far right when you're done. You can do some other things, which we won't get into here. But the most important thing for right now is to show you the views option. So here's the wireframe view. You can see it's highlighted in green. And also, when you put your mouse on top of it, it shows you and tells you what it is. We can move over here. We could look at a zoom out. But what we want at the moment is desktop view. So when I click that, it's going to change our view to the website itself, the way it appears on a computer pretty handy. Now, uh, in this particular case, you'll notice there's a couple of different menus. One of those is for mobile devices. That's another story. But all we are concerned about right now is changing out this image. So when I move my mouse around the page, you'll notice that different things show up as uh, ability or, or able to be edited. So what we're going to do is we put our mouse on top of the image, and we're going to click the little gear icon. You can call it a gear, call it a sprocket. Uh, you click it, and that's the module settings box. It opens up like this. Now, once again, this is going to tell us here's our image. And when we put our mouse on top of it, once again, it shows us a gear. It shows us a trash can. Uh, I just hit a button by accident uh, that put something up here in the top. So I'm going to just back that out. There we go. That's if you need to search for stuff. That's another story entirely. All right. All we're going to do right now is we're going to click the gear icon here. So we've clicked two gears, and this is going to bring us to our media library. Now, if you have other things that you've uploaded, you could select them. We could select this picture of dogs and cats. We could select this other one. But in our case, we want to upload a file. So right here at the top of the media library window, the Upload Files tab is here. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can open up another. Uh, you can open up a window in your Windows Explorer or your Macintosh Finder. And you can just drag and drop, which works fine. But for now, I'm just going to click on Select Files, and I'm going to go find my uh, my thing here. All right, I'm going to go down. Uh, in my case, it's in Projects. It's here. It's in Projects. It's in this one. It's in Photos. I have lots of files here, lots of projects. <laughs> All right, now uh, we are in the directory that has the file we want to use. And we're going to click on Header Landing Page. That's what was sent. Going to click on Choose. And then you'll notice it shows up. And that was really quick because I have really fast internet here. 
but in your case it might take a little longer you'll see a progress bar but when it's uploaded you'll see it's got the blue box around it and a check mark now if you uploaded the wrong file you could go over to the right here and you could click on delete permanently you might just change your mind and you could click on one of these other files notice every time I click a file I'm trying to choose an image and it's selecting it in blue giving me the check marks but I'm gonna check the one that I just uploaded I'm gonna to go to the bottom right of this upload box I'm gonna click upload an image and you'll notice now it's changed now you may notice also there's rounded corners here don't let that throw you uh, that's just part of the interface when I've set this to the picture I want I'm gonna click the green checkbox on the bottom right of this particular module settings box click that and you'll notice ta-da it's been changed but there's one more thing we need to do and that's to go to the bottom right and click save and that's going to actually save the page click the green save button you'll notice that uh, green typically means save and then I can either leave this bottom menu open or I can click the purple uh, circle with an X and close it and that's it we're done now we're gonna go back to the actual front page of the site uh, this is not the admin uh, we're not logged in here this is just as everyone else sees it we're gonna refresh the page and then it'll show us the brand new image that we just updated there you go there's a quick tutorial on how to change out an image on the front page these principles apply to any image you want to change out hope that's helpful and we'll see you next time bye bye